Hello everyone. Welcome to Healthy Living. Today we're out here in the garden and we're going to harvest some cayenne peppers. Look at this. Oh my goodness. We have so many. Yeah, I think it's at least a hundred. What y'all think? <laughs> I always say it reminds me of a Christmas tree. So today I am out. And I just want to show you all the things that I have. I have my aluminum foil pan because we are going to harvest a cayenne pepper today, finally. So I have my aluminum pan. I have my shears. Since I have so many peppers, I might even be sitting down. So let's get started because it is hot out to the point it is hot. Just want you to see i know it's like you could have picked another day i'm only going to do so many with you all because it is hot and it's uh let me tell you what time it is it's 8 42. i'm not going to get the green ones i'm going to leave them i'm going to get all the red ones and uh, i have not had any problems with these matter of fact these plants here this one here has been uh, over winter since last year. So it's probably the reason why it's thriving so well. The container that I am growing the cayenne pepper is a large container so it gives it a chance to thrive and grow. And I fertilize it and mainly just add water, but low maintenance. I don't have a greenhouse. I end up bringing this plant inside the house right there by the patio door. When it got cold, I'm in Louisiana zone 9B. Yeah, it's going to take me all day. How many peppers do you think is on this plant? Let me know. Because, honey, it's too hot. It's too hot for me to be out here. I'm starting to sweat. It's almost 9 o'clock. And uh, I'm going to move these peppers to a whole nother area just so I can finish harvesting. Okay. Now the much shady area. I just want to show you how high it got up to. Yes. Over there in that sun. I just want to show you. Okay. So they definitely work. But now I'm going to put them over here in the shaded area. And we're going to see how it registered in this area. I don't know if you'll be able to see me or not, but I have to think of safety first to be able to harvest. And uh, that's what's going on. Oh, I hope my camera's not all steamy because of the humidity out here. I really enjoy eating spicy pepper spicy food and so I'm just really excited about anything spicy in my garden you're gonna know or see or hear about some spiciness in my garden it just wouldn't be right if I didn't have some type of habanero, ghost pepper, cayenne pepper, chili pepper. I have them all. But there's a new one that just came out. They said it's the hottest pepper in the world. They always say that until they find one. So I will put the name on the screen so you can check it out. And I'm going to continue on getting the rest of these cayenne peppers and then I will show you what I end up with and then I'll show you the the temperature the temperature is already changing you all already let me see if you can see it there you see it it's changing already look at that So, almost 
finally finished you all almost almost and i didn't have that many bad ones in here i have not counted them i was going to have y'all to guess what y'all thought but you know what i wanted to tell you that you really don't have to have shears to cut or to harvest you don't have to have shears to really harvest your cayenne peppers really we get so used to using shears all the time that we forget that sometimes you can just pull them right on off so I want to let you know that too you just I'm just pulling them off make it easy on yourself because I was using my shears at first and you just pull them off get in and make sure you have your gloves well don't get too crazy and pull them off. Okay, I'm going to try and see what the green looks like. My first green one. And I, I like this. This makes it easy to harvest. See what it looks like actually in there. See my trunk here? See it? That's awful thick. Can you see that? I hope you can. Nice, strong. In the midst of that, I'm going to uh, clean it out. So I have some weeds in here and I don't need it in here sucking up my nutrients or the nutrition for the peppers okay you're not feeding us baby you can't have any of it okay I want to make sure I don't pull any of my peppers out so at the time that you are harvesting that gives you a good time to clean any straw or anything in here uh, just just the soil by itself I think we're about finished I think, I think we're doing it doesn't look like a Christmas tree anymore I think that's about it now the ones that I have on here is partially uh, red and green I actually don't see any more red at all. I think I have just one that is left. And it's down here. Okay. Wow. All right, y'all. We did it. We got them. We got our cayenne peppers. Now, I need to make a video on showing what I'm going to do with my cayenne peppers. Uh, sorry for the lighting, baby. This is where it's shade at. I know. There, okay? I'll, I'll turn this way. Okay, so this is the peppers, the cayenne peppers. I have no idea how many it is here. Well, I'm excited about it. I am so excited, and they were so long. Okay, look at this, y'all. We got peppers. Okay, and we have more to come, and uh, I will make sure that I fertilize them. It's been a little while, uh, and this going to continue on cleaning, getting everything out of it. This shouldn't be so far. It's looking good. Okay. All right, if you all have any cayenne peppers or if you have harvested any cayenne peppers, let me know. Comment. Let me know if it's your first year, second year. This is my second year for my cayenne peppers. And I'll see you all in the next video.